Alright, so this video is going to be about trig ratio signs. How do we know what the signs are going to be? Are they going to be positive or negative or what? Right? So uh, here's a little something I'll get you to think about. We remember this. So katoa. This is uh, the basis, uh, basis of our ratios. Do you remember what those mean? So let's look at this here. We can have it angles in any of the four quadrants, right? We can have, I mean, we, they could be on the line too, right? But that's a special case. Uh, it could be in the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, or fourth quadrant. Now, we're going to look at what the properties are of each quadrant, but we're going to make it plain as day, clear as day, whatever. Okay, so here's our, uh, we'll just pretend this is our unit circle. Not bad, okay? So let's take a quadrant one angle. I'll just pick this one here, okay? First thing we need to realize, we're dealing with radius, and we're dealing with a distance of x and a height of uh, y. Now, uh, using our, our common sense, which we've practiced from beforehand, we'll connect this to stuff we've done before. Now, uh, going back to grade 8, you remember that as you move to the right, it's positive, and as you move left, it's negative, whatever you're counting. And as you move up, you're going positive, and as you move down, you're going negative. So let's look at this here. Um, let's call this angle theta, okay? Sine of theta equals, uh, well, that's opposite over hypotenuse. Well, the hypotenuse, because this is a right triangle, the hypotenuse is r. r is always positive. If this is a unit circle, okay, and this is, uh, this is going to be 1. Okay, now, if you need a refresher on that, just email me, okay? We're always measure 1 is always a positive 1 because we're measuring the distance. How far is it from here to here? If it was negative 1, then we have like a, an inverted circle. I don't think I can even draw that. Maybe on a computer or something, okay? So we're measuring like a distance here. It doesn't matter where the distance is from here to here. If you're driving your car to the edge of the circle, you've still driven one unit, okay? That's the point. So that's always positive. However, um, opposite side is y. So that will be, because y we're measuring up, it's positive y. And over hypotenuse, so or r is always positive. So we know this is going to be a positive. Uh, OK, how about cos? Cos theta, we know that this ratio is going to be positive. That's what I'm getting at here. Cos theta is. Um, is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, well that is um, a positive x value because we're moving right, so positive x over radius, so that also will be positive. And tan theta is going to be um, opposite over adjacent, so that is uh, positive y over positive x. Well that clearly is also going to be positive. So we can say in quadrant one, I'll make a summary over here. So in quadrant one, they are all positive. Okay? So that's that's quadrant one. Alright, now let's look at quadrant two. Boom. Okay, and just any any angle. Theta again. So we have a positive y. However, this time here we're going back negative x units. Negative x. And then our radius is 1, okay? So in this case, sine theta, so we're dealing with quadrant 2. Sine theta equals uh, positive y over hypotenuse. So um, positive y over r, that's positive. Cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's negative x over r, so that's negative. Tan theta is opposite opposite over adjacent again, so positive y over negative x. Positive y, negative x, which is going to be negative. So which ones are positive in quadrant two? Just the sine function, okay? So in quadrant two, just sine function, okay? That's the idea, though, because we're measuring in, in negative distance here. All right, um, quadrant three. I shouldn't have erased all that. I could save some time. Um, suppose, there we are. Okay. Remember, we're always making our triangle up to there. Again, we're going negative x value. 
but we're also going down, so we have a negative y, right? So let's look at our ratios. There's theta sine theta equals uh, opposite over hypotenuse, so the radius is 1, negative y over 1, that's a negative. Uh, cos theta equals the adjacent over hypotenuse, so negative x over, I'll use r for radius just to keep consistent, that's also negative. And then tan, here's the thing, tan theta is opposite over adjacent, so negative y over negative x. And this clearly becomes a positive because you're dividing a negative by a negative. So for quadrant three, you have the only one positive is tan. Okay. So let me just write that here. Okay. So it's the only one that's positive. It's kind of little shortcuts here. I'll save some time here. There. It only took me three times to realize I get to save some time here. Okay. That's how you know what's early. Alright, so we'll clean this up again. And let's do this last one. Quadrant 4. Okay, there's our... We have, we're down, so it's negative y, but we're going positive x distance this time. There's our angle. So sine is negative y over, over r, so that's a negative. Cosine is adjacent over r, so that's a positive. And tan is uh, opposite over adjacent. So that's a, uh, well, quite positive. That's a, a negative. Okay. So in quadrant four, for an angle, the only ratio that's going to be positive is cos. So let me just put that here. Quadrant four, cosine is positive. Okay. Now I'm going to just clear this up a bit. Just get rid of this. Okay. Our summary. Quadrant one. Here's our quadrants again. One, two, uh, three, and four. So this, this leads us to a nice little handy trick. And if we want to know what, uh, what are the signs going to be of the ratios, the trig ratios, for any, tri or any of the triangles in any of the, in the unit circle here, why did I do that? Um, we found out that in quarter one, uh, uh, quadrant one, it was all. Okay, so watch these letters here. Quadrant two it was sine. Quadrant three it was tan. Okay. And quadrant four it was cosine. Okay. Now this you can remember with one rule is called the cast rule. I mean, that's uh, that's how I learned. you could have another another uh, acronym for this. But if if you have an angle here, the only ratio that will be positive is cosine. If your angle's here, all of the ratios will be positive. If your angle's up here, your only ratio that's positive is sine. And if your angle's down in this quadrant, then your only ratio that's positive is tangent. Cast. C-A-S-T. 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 Start here. Don't forget.